Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'a Shalom. Yahweh Shalom. Double honors to the elders, all right, the apostles, all right, it, that's, that's labeled as GMS, but they're really the elders of the fucking whole world, man. Yeah. All right, so I tell you, brothers, doing this thing in sincerity and truth and with charity. <clears throat> We're going to hop straight into this, man, because, you now what's funny is I had actually had sent myself a note to go into this, the worship and, and kissing the sun, which was times going to be like that, something like that. All right, uh, worship and have a shot. And then I had never gotten to put the lesson together. And I ended up watching the elders, and they mentioned worship about worshiping and have a shot. And I looked at the damn common board, and sure enough, scoff was right there ready. So we're going to go into this because you, you do worship and have a shot, man. Okay? But we're going to get into that. So you got Hebrews 1, okay. verse 5 through 6. This is Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 5. In fact, hold on. Before we get that, get the first Corinthians 15. Okay. It's first Corinthians 15. 25 to 27. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm sorry, 20. Go ahead. It's 1 Corinthians 15 and 24. Then come at the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of the Most High, even the Father, when he shall put, when she, Shalakia, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when, he, but when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is expected, which did put all things under him. In, in Salaki, verse 28, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the son of the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him. Right. So first off, that's the order. You how when you have a shot and everything else is under you have a shot. All right. Everything is under you have a shot, man. That's the rule. That's the order. It's that simple. Okay? Get, uh, get Psalms 110. Okay. This is uh, Psalms 110. You start at the top. Okay. This is Psalms 110. It says, Yahweh said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Yahweh shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. God. So Yahweh shall, for one, he's the ruler. He's the, like it says in Revelation, man. He had the many crowns. He's the ruler. But a quick note, you know, that you got to pay attention to. This is King David talking. He said, The Lord, Yahweh, said to my Lord, Okay, so Yahweh Shah, King David called Yahweh Shah his Lord, man, his master. Oh. And many people worship the King David. All right, bow down to King David. Okay, so how much more to Yahweh Shah, whom King David called Lord? Okay, how much more should they come bow down and worship Melchizedek? Okay, which Yahweh Shah? Which Abraham paid tithes to. Yeah. And you're supposed to reverence the priest. Which Yahweh Shah is the high priest. The, the 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 highest priest, the most high priest. That's what I thought in my head. The highest priest. Okay, you get that Ephesians one twenty one. Okay. This is a uh, Ephesians one and twenty one. It says, "Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named." Up far above. Every so what's that? Man, he's right under the most high Yehovah, man. So it it would behoove you to fucking to, to worship him, cause for one, it's not. They they want to say it's idolatry, cause when you worship Yahweh Shai, you're still serving Yahweh, man, cause he's under the order of Yahweh. Yep. All right, and we gonna we gonna get that, gonna get scriptures to prove that, to prove that statement, man. Like if that's the same as if you came about down to the to Aaron, the priest. 
the high, or whatever, or the high priest. That was still given to Yahweh, man. That was showing reference to Yahweh because Yahweh set that that the, that man up. That still was the power and order of Yahweh. That's why it's, that's why you read it says Yahweh Alahayim, Yahweh powers, man. Yahweh his order, his army. Okay, uh, was there more to that? Huh. It says. You got any points to scriptures? Okay. Ephesians 1 21, we'll start the topic again. Far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And hath put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. So to he, the church. He's the king, man. Like it says, the king of kings. Lord of lords, man. You bow down to you. We, yes, we, we worship Yahweh Shah, man. Yes, we give him high reverence. Okay? Yep. Yes, we bow down and kiss the sun, man. Okay? And that's giving service and worship to your house. Yep. Okay? Yeah, uh, can, can you go to Matthew 2 and 1? Mm -hmm. Start at the top. This is um, Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. Now, when Yahweh Shah was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Come. They came to worship, specifically came to worship Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because he was he set up to be the king. And that's, that's, that's what you did, especially considering he is the king. You came and paid the homage, man. Yeah. You paid obedience to him. You came to worship. You came to kiss at his feet. What you gonna get into? Get can you get uh, Hebrews one? Let me start from the top on that one. No, it's, it's uh, hold on one second. Cause we, we brought up the verse five. Yeah, hit hit. No, where were Hebrews at? Hit um two and eight. Oh, we didn't. We started with hit two and eight. Then get one and five. Kind. This is Hebrews 2, verse 8. Not only was he the king of the Jews, like we already read, he was over everything, but we're going to give you one more to show that, and then we're going to get into this worshiping of Yahweh Shah, which is supposed to be done. Yep. Because then you'll be taken away from him. Because that's how the Father set it up, man. You got to give Yahweh Shah his due glory, man, because he came and died for us. He was in hell, even for that. The Lord told us to give him the glory here to him when he, when he said, This is my beloved son. So Lord gave him his glory before he even died for our, for our fucking sins, man. For our fucking wickedness. Yep. All right, he, he, the glory that we give to him, he, he earns, man. He he, does, he earned it, and he earns it every day, man. <laughs> hey, man, even when uh, uh, the first deliverers, we was coming out of Egypt. Yahweh was that angel, man. That's right. And Yahweh said, uh, obey him, obey his words, and whoever won't obey it shall be killed, man. Which is the same thing coming again, man. And he was coming in the name of Yahweh back then. That's right. When we talked about the bush, it says Yahweh. Then it says it was an angel of Yahweh. Because he is the voice of Yahweh, man. Yep. Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy, man. That's right. You know? Yep. This is He's a, Yahweh's spokesman, basically. The top spokesman. Yeah, yep. Okay. Yep. This is Hebrews 2 and 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. So if you want this feet, man, you're going to be bowed down. And that's the scripture. Everything shall bow, man. Yep. For in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. He left nothing that's not put under him. So that's everything. All Prince of Bell is like we read earlier. Was that it on that? No, it's more. Okay. You had a point to say? Kind, yeah. Um, a part of worshiping is bowing down, man. What was that in um, Luke 19, 27? The night Yahweh shall say, those who would not that have a reign over me, uh, that won't meet. Uh, I just butchered the shit out of that. That's what, that's what uh, uh, humble, being humble means, being a subjection means. All right? Those that should not, right, those that not, now I'm but those that should not have I'm just gonna get the scripture. Just get, <laughs> That's what it is. 
That I should not reign over them. This is Luke 19 and 27. It says, uh, But those my enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. You know? And what, what king you walk up to when you don't bow before that king, man? Right. You know? Or you don't grab his hand you know, and, and bow down and kiss it. Yep. Make obeisance, man. Right. Or bow down and make a kiss just towards the ground that, that, he's, that he's at. Okay? And that's part of being humility, man. Casting yourself down to the ground. Before the high priest. Before the king. Before our Lord. Go ahead. Come. Back in Hebrews 2 and 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. I get that Hebrews 1 and 5. Okay. This is Hebrews 1 verse 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Right, so his glory has never been bestowed upon any angel, man. All right, this is given only to Yahweh Shah. Yep. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Okay. You want to read verse 6? Yeah, come on. That's the point. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of the Most High worship him. Come. Let all, and so even the angels worship Yahweh Shah. Now get Hebrews, I mean, Psalms 2. I, well, I'm going to read this definition. Come. All right, so this is the definition for worship right here. Um, it's the it's the Strong's number G four three five two. Proskuneo, proskuneo. It says to kiss the hand to towards one the tokens of reverence among the Orientals, and you know Orientals means Eastern, and the Israelites are Eastern. Among the Orientals, especially the Persians, to fall upon the knees and touch the ground with the forehead as an expression of profound reverence. The New Testament by kneeling or prostration to do homage to one or make obeisance, so to bow down, whether in order to express respect or to make supplication, so to to come to beg for, uh, for first and foremost forgiveness, mercy, holy things that you got to come worship, because your all your prayers got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh. Yep. So you got it, because he he was a sacrifice, so you got to come make that supplication. Like when they did to the high priest, they brought their sacrifice. They had to make supplication through the high priest to get to the most high. So you got so they worshipped the high priest back then. Okay? Uh the use of armor shown to men of and beings of superior rank. So the Jewish high priest, that's part of the definition. That was that's what we did back in the day. So it's nothing different. How much more should it be towards your high shot? Alright? To the Most High, to to Mashiach, to uh, then, it, then it goes off. Well, technically, you know, motherfuckers was doing this shit because it says the heavenly beings and the demons. Motherfuckers worship that wicked ass shit. That's just the left hand side of it. Then it says, meaning to kiss like a dog licking his master's hand. To find, so basic, like like the woman said, you know, to, to eat the, the crumbs, the dog eat the crumbs from the master's table. Like you got a dog, you take the food and you hand it to him, he, he lick it out your hand, man. The dog comes to you for everything. Um, to fawn or crouch to, that is, literally, figuratively, prostrate oneself in homage. Do reverence to, adore, worship. And it tells you in, in Wisdom of Solomon, and maybe Sirach, to reverence the priest. And he is the high priest. Yes, Sirach. You bow down to him. You worship Yahweh Shai. Yep. And that's still giving service and worship and praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. And we're gonna we're gonna get to that. You got the, and here we go. We're gonna show you in, in the Old Testament where well, this was already commanded. Literally, man. This is, you got the Psalm second chapter. Huh. I think it's the last verse. Mm -hmm. This is Psalms two. I'm gonna start at eleven. It says, "Serve Yahweh with fear and rejoicing, and rejoice with trembling." Wait, 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 wait. So first, it tells you, "Serve Yahweh with fear and trembling." That would also include his order, because it's going to tell you something about his order right here. Go ahead. Yep. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. Wait a minute. It says what? Kiss the son, lest he be angry. Oh, let, lest he be angry, man. That's paying reverence to homage, like we just read. That's worship. To kiss the son. Kiss your Howard shot. 
Be obedient. Pay homage. Respect. Bow down. Put yourself in subjection to. Worship. Go ahead. It says, kiss the son lest he be angry and ye perish from the weight. Hey, guess what? So, all your Old Testament only people, for one, you're going to be destroyed because if you really was understood the Old Testament, you would know you would know that scripture. Kiss the son. You got you to kiss your house shot, man. You got to worship. Pay homage. Give reverence to. Look to as a God. How about that? I'm going to say that for you too. Man. I'm going to get it. Okay. Huh? It says, when his, when his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Come. Hey, and that's still having faith and trust in Yahweh for the fact that he raised Yahweh shot from the dead and raised them up to the high authority and put everything good in subjection. Okay, and that's what you guys don't have. Faith, trust in Yahweh. That's why you can't believe in Yahweh shot and worship him. For if you believe, you will worship. Yeah. Um... Just to show y'all don't y'all don't understand the law or the, which would be the whole old testament. Um All right, all right, go ahead, go ahead. This is uh John 3 and 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. You know, so just like the brother had mentioned, man, Yahweh Shah is that mediator. You have to go through Yahweh Shah in order to get to the Father. You know, so you talking about uh, are you not to worship Yahweh Shai? Well, then you not worshiping the Father if you can't worship if you're not going through Yahweh Shai. Then who are you worshiping then? You know, the only way Yahweh is receiving your prayers, receiving your glory, receiving anything from you is through Yahweh Shai, man. You know, God. you can. Uh... We can get uh, that Philippians 2 and 10. <clears throat> this is uh, Philippians. Come on, Salaki. In fact, no, we're going to hold that. Get Joshua 5 14 first. Yeah, let's get this Joshua. This is Joshua 5 and 14. Okay. Joshua 5 and 14. And he said, Nay. But as captain of the host of the Lord, I am now come. Oh, uh, maybe we should start. Start up. Start at, thir start at 13. Okay. It's lucky. This is uh, Joshua 5 and 13. And it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, there stood a man over against him with his sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua went unto him and said unto him, Art thou for us or for our adversaries? And he said, Nay, but as captain of the host of the Lord am I now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and did worship, and said unto him, What saith my Lord unto his servant? He paid all oh, he immediately dropped down to this at this moment we're gonna call him an angel of the Lord. He immediately dropped down to this captain, which is the angel of the Lord's army, the captain of the Lord's army, and paid obedience to man. He humbled himself, he put himself in subjection. He called him Lord. Called himself a servant. Okay? We're, fin we're gonna uh, finish that off. And I'm gonna get this Colossians 2. Uh, verse 15. And the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua, Loose thy shoe from off thy foot, for the place whereon thou standest is holy. And Joshua did so. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna read this. This is Colossians 2 18. Because right there, Joshua bowed down. We're going to worship the angel. And he didn't go off. And you trying to tell me you're not supposed to worship Yahweh Shah? This is Colossians 2 18. Let no man beguile you your reward in voluntary humility and worshiping of angels and children against those things which you have not seen, vainly puffed up as flesh and mind. So you're not supposed to worship an angel. Can you get that Revelations? Uh, 1910. Cause I'm just right, that was your how shot he bowed down to. Every other angel tells you to get up, or they lift you up. Did in second angel, I think. Did he bow down to angel? He lifted his head up. Uh, was it Andrews or was it Daniel? I forget which who it was. I'm not sure. It was uh, you talking about Daniel. It was, it was Daniel. Daniel. He lifted him up. Cause you know we don't bow down. We you know we don't bow to the angels. We bow, now we bow down to the top angel, which is your how shot. 
when I said that my f the phone, the dude, was Robert, top hmm. crew, man. This is uh, Revelations 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Exactly. So he told him, no, get up. Don't, don't bow down to me, man. I'm an angel too. I'm your, I'm your brother. Okay? You know, we don't bow down to angels. That was, that was Yahweh Shai he bowed down to. Plain and simple, man. And everybody's going to, eventually, everybody's going to bow down, worship, Pay obedience to Yahweh Shai, man. And that's and that's only still gonna give glory to Yahweh. Because Yahweh is the one that glorified Yahweh Shai. You, you can go, you got you can go there. Are you want me to finish? No, no, you got Genesis, right? Oh, okay. It's Genesis 18 and 1. And Yahweh appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre and sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and oh, looked. Slack, slack. I forgot to do this. This is the word for uh, worship in this Joshua 5 in Hebrew. Shacha, strong number 87, 812, to bow down, to bow down, to bow down, to prostrate oneself before superior in homage. Okay, so he's a superior. You pay the homage to you, you prostrate yourself um, before the most high in worship. I'm going to read this part of the last part of the definition. Preeminent root to depress, that is, prostrate, especially reflexively in homage to royalty or a god. Right? Then they say that Yahushua Yah was the king of the Jews. Then they said not only the king of the Jews, but the king over everything. He was the ruler over everything, man. Everything's put in subjection to him. Then it says, um, bow self down, crouch, fall down flat, humbly, beseech. So when you begging, all right, to do or make obeisance, 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 do reverence, make to stoop, worship. Okay, and that word again is uh, shakha, and that's and that's something we don't do to regular angels. Go ahead, you got the Genesis. Right. Does uh, what about the angel when um when that Jacob seen? He wrestled, he wrestled him. him, right? He was wrestling him. <laughs> hey, that was two brothers wrestling, man. Shit. Uh, this is Genesis 18. I'm gonna start at the top. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. And he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground. Okay. Now, when you read. Oh, keep going. Read one more verse. Okay. And said, My Lord, if now I have found favor in thy sight, pass not away, I pray thee, from thy servant. Right. And you read into this this specific angel, when he's bow, really bound to they call Lord, says so he's going to return in time of life, and he's going to, basically, he's going to be Isaac. Yep. Which is how it's shot. That's another, that's another lesson for another day. The point is, he bowed down again to the, to an angel and called him Lord. Because the same angel was how it's shot. And here's the word for bow right there. Strong's number, H7812, Shakha. It's the exact, it's the same word definition. That bowed down right there is the same as he worshipped, because that's what he did. It is that time he literally bowed down, because you can worship, and you can't, you may not even do a full bow. You can worship and kiss the hand like we read. Kissing the sun is worship. Alright? Giving reverence to it is worship. So when you deal with your house, you use the totality of it, man. Bowing down, kissing the sun. Paying uh, OBS signs to, um, showing reverence to, beseeching, uh, giving supplication to, asking for mercy. All right, trying to get right. Can you get Luke seven? You had a precept right there. Nah. Oh. The point is like forty five, but really it's it's the whole little story. So let me see where we start at. Uh, let me get the scripture. Luke seven, like forty. Yeah, damn. Um, start at 30. 39. No, 37. 37. Because it's about the supplication. This is uh, St. Luke 7 and 37. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Yahweh Shah said at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment. 
and stood at his feet behind him weeping and began to wash his feet with tears and did wipe them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the uh and anointed them with the ointment now when the pharisee which had bitten him saw it he spake within himself saying this man if he were a prophet would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Yahweh answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one ought five hundred pence and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore which of them will love him most. Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. So the way she's giving, the way she's beseeching, you know, begging, all right, uh, doing supplication, you know, requesting fervently for mercy, worshiping at him, because she's bowing down, cleaning his feet, fully worshiping and crying. That's the way we're supposed to be. Because we need, we, we're the one, the dad, we're the debtor that needs the most forgiven, man. Yep. That's that's so we we gotta be we gotta be that type of worshiper. So we gotta you know go out going out there online because being because the best way to show the reverence respect you know big part of it is obedience, even though obedience to death. So going out there in the cold, man, yep. doing what you, what you was told to us to do by your house shot. You love me, feed my flock. Yep. Okay, and that's giving honor and glory to Yahweh. Because who work are we going out there to do? Yahweh's will. Okay. We proclaim Yahweh's name. The same thing that uh, uh, Samuel told Saul, man. He said to obey is better than to sacrifice, man. That's right. You know, because uh, rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft, man. You know? Thank you, boy. Verse 43 in Luke uh, 7. It says, Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. Thou gavest me no water from my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Keep going. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgives the sins also? And he said to the woman, Thy faith has saved thee. Go in peace. Right, faith in Yahweh, because she knew that who Yahweh was because of the words of Yahweh. Okay? Yep. But, th but this shows the, the power that was bestowed upon Yahweh to have the power to forgive sin. That's they understand. That's why you, we, we, we do worship Yahweh Shah, because he got that power, man. Yeah. Her supplication, after she made supplication, guess what? It was heard and answered and accepted, man. And Yahweh Shah forgave her. All right? Um, that's part of what, that's part of having the son is. You give him a, a blessing, inheritance. Yahweh passed on the creation to Yahweh Shah. And in turn, Yahweh Shah is going to pass it down to us. Okay. Um, you getting a precept? Kind of. Go ahead, go ahead. This is John 5. I'm going to get to the point. This is John 5 and 22. It says, For the Father judges no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. You know? So, so Yahweh uh, gave him the, uh, the power to forgive sins, man. You know? And through the worshiping of Yahweh Shai, we worship the Most High in, in order to get our sins forgiven, man. You know? God. But, Salaki, no, verse 23. No. That all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. That's right. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. And that, and, uh, that's a good point. Hold that. We're going to bring that priest up to go up again. Hold that priest up. We're going to get that after this. After these next, we're going to get that again. Huh. This is um, Matthew 14. You can flip this 2 and 10. 
This is Matthew's 14. I'm going to start at 30. Uh, shit, I'm going to start a little further up. This is Matthew's 14 and 23. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And the fourth watch of the night, Yahweh went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. They cried for, out for fear. But straightway Yahweh shot speaking unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And Peter was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Yahweh Shai. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and began to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Yahweh Shai stretched forth his hands and called him and said unto him, O thou of the faith, why, why the, why, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. Then, then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the son of the most high. And that's that's what that's what ben, that's what a legacy is. Alright, Yahweh can't die. So he gotta set his legacy up differently. Alright? And that's this was passed down to Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah is 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 the king, man. He's the ruler. That's why it says to honor him as we honor the Father. It's that simple. Hey, guess what? He is gonna do it to us. In a second, we're gonna get that. That's the order, that's the order the Lord set up. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the 144,000. Hey, when he told the 12 disciples they're going to rule on 12 thrones, what do you think people going to come do, man? They're going to come bowing down, man. They're going to come worshiping. They're going to give obeisance. Right. And it's going to be all glory to Yahweh because it tells you, I think, in Isaiah, when it comes, it's gonna, we're going to be called basically the, the, the nation of the Lord, man. The nation of Yahweh, the one who Yahweh rule over. So they come bowing down to us. It's not because we something. It's because Yahweh, Yahweh why Yahweh Shai set us up. Just as Yahweh set up Yahweh Shai. So that's why we pay Yahweh Shai the homage and respect the honor and reverence and worship, man. So you got everybody, you got all, all you fuckers got these fantastical definitions of things because you don't look things up. No, Yahweh Shai isn't the most high Yahweh. But he's still greatly to be worshipped, greatly to be honored. Okay? And we still make our supplications through Yahweh Shai to Yahweh Shai. Really, we make them to Yahweh Shai. Honestly, because if he forgives, it, it'd be forgiven. We, we read the scripture. Because he has the understanding from Yahweh. The spirit of Yahweh rested on Yahweh Shai, man. Heavy. All right. You got the Philippians. God. You got the other person who just brought up a second ago, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that was a cold one. That was a cold one. This is uh, St. Luke. Which is this? 24 and. Uh, this is the one you just read? Nah, this is another one. Okay, come. Um, I'm going to start at 49. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. God. You know, and and they worshipped him when when he was beamed up and taken away. You know, they even worshipped him while he was walking. The brother just read when 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 Peter worshipped him, man. You know, not once did Yahweh Shah say "Do it not, man." God. and it was all it was all 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 of them on the boat came worshiping, including Peter. Because that's it's that simple, man. He's the Son of the Most High. All right. Yep. <clears throat> this is uh, Philippians 2 and 10. I'm going to start at 9. It's Philippians 2 and 9. Wherefore the heavenly father also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow. So every, hey, guess what? You're going to do it one way or another. Yeah. You're going to do it You're gonna do it now in, in, in humility and, sub, and being a subjection to him. Or you're going to be brought before him 
place down on your knees, still bowing down, and then slain before his eyes, man. <laughs> it's that simple. Everybody's going to bow down one way or another. Everybody's going to learn to come respect. Uh, first, first Yahweh, and then Yahweh Shai. Yep. Yep. Okay. Everybody's going to bow down to worship, man. So y'all can y'all can accept Yahweh Shai now or not, man. Hey, but look, only we already know the numbers. Only elect gonna do it. So really, this is only to the elect. So they gonna do it. But we, but hey, uh, knowing the terror of the Lord will persuade many. So it, it still stands. Either gonna worship now or you're gonna get forced to later by the sword. Kind of. Philippians 2 and 10, that at the name of Yahweh Shah, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shah HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of the Most High, the Father. To the glory of the Most High. So Yahweh Shah being set up is showing the Lord, is, is giving glory back to the Most High, man. It's giving honor back to the Most High. Because yep. through Yahweh's power, Yahweh Shai accomplished the feats he did. Through Yahweh's power, Yahweh Shai exists. Yep. So it's still giving the glory back to Yahweh. It's not idolatry worship because it's still tech, it's still really worshiping Yahweh. It's the order of things, man. We got the. Oh, you want to go back to yeah, that? Yeah, because that was good. This is John five. Um, fact, get Acts 7, I'm going to get this Acts 7, 22 first. Okay. And then get, get John, come on, yeah, come on, that's, 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 that's nice. It's Acts 7 and 22. Um, is it? Oh, this ain't right. It ain't 7, 22, let's see. Shit. One second. Terrible pin and shit, right? <laughs> Acts 3 and 22. Hmm. Alright, yeah. Acts 3 and 22. For our Moses truly said unto the fathers, a prophet shall... The Lord your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall you hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. This shall come to pass that every soul which would not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. All right. Uh, yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of, of these days. All right. So. A point is, he said, a prophet like unto himself. You gotta remember the the the, the symbolism of Moses. The Most High Yahweh said Moses was counted as a god. Aaron was counted as his prophet. So that's what Yahweh Shai is, man. Yahweh Shai is counted as as a god. Yahweh was the most. That's why they call Yahweh the Most High. That means it must be more. Hell, we gods. Oh. But we ain't the top. We ain't the chief. Yahweh Shai is the chief cornerstone, man. He's the, he's the captain of the Lord's army, man. It's the most highest army. Yahweh Shai is the captain. I don't know the, all the ranks. And then the 144,000, how that goes, you know. Then the angels and, and so forth. That's that's the order. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, us. Then the angels. Okay. Um... So he got that power to forget us. You know, he, he whoever harkens to, to Yahweh Shai, he accepts. Whoever doesn't, Yahweh Shai denies. All things is put under his subjection. Right? right. He got that power, man. He got the Lord gave him the judgment. He he taught him. He taught him as a good son. So then he got like one to himself. So now Yahweh Shai can do the judgment because he gonna judge with the same judgment as the Father. Because the Father's in him. We got that free stuff, man. Kind of. This is John 5 and 22. For the Father judges no man, 
but hath committed all judgment unto the Son, that all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father which hath sent him. Kind. And it, I mean, and that's plain, man. You know, and I got a couple couple more precepts in John, because they, John goes in. John is a heavy book. You, you ready for this, John 13? Um... We'll get Revelation 39 first, and then we're going to hit that one after that. We're going to close it out. Because I mentioned the order thing, so let's show you that. Because when, how the heathens, people, and even the angels, the other angels, how they're going to come to, to us, that's still going to be giving honor and glory to Yahweh Shot. We're still going to be giving honor and glory to Yahweh. So we're going to get that to prove that point. All right, you get this 3 and 9. Okay. Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. So that's saying right there. Because in the Old Testament, guess what? It said that everybody's going to uh, know Yahweh. All the nations going to know Yahweh. This Israel's still going to be the chosen. We only want to get the covenant. They're going to know who the, the Heavenly Father is. But right there, it said they're going to worship us. Just like it says in Isaiah, they're going to come bound down to us. Yep. So it ain't something new. It ain't like, oh, no, now that the things have changed. No, you just don't have understanding, man. All right? So it's still, they're going to come worship us, and that's going to be giving honor and glory to Yahweh Shai, which is going to be giving honor and glory to Yahweh, man. That's how it works. Because we didn't do shit, and we're not going to deliver ourselves. Yahweh Shai didn't, didn't deliver himself. Yahweh Shai laid down his life. And how and how I redeemed them up, brought them from the dead. Okay, so all things are being done through Yahweh, and this is His order. Yep. His His Son, and then the joint heirs, which is us. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Ratzah. Now you get that John thirteen. The end of that verse it says, "And to know oh, that I have loved them." You know. Kind of, and that's the bottom line, man. The love that Yahweh had towards uh. Abraham is friend, and he, well, starting how shot back in the heavens, the love was to create how shot first, and how shot creating us first after him. Go ahead. Con. This is a uh, Saint John thirteen and thirty one. Therefore, when he was going out, Yahweh Shai said, "Now is the Son of Man glorified, and the heavenly Father is glorified in him." Because. Who, who, for one, who prophecies was getting fulfilled? These were the, these were prophecies getting fulfilled. These were Yahweh might and might might and works and, and marvelous power being shown in Yahweh Shai, raising him up. So Yahweh Shai getting that glory, glorify Yahweh. Israel getting getting not glory, glorify Yahweh Shai, because he came and died for us, which shows you that. Which is uh, him coming back and saving us to deliver us out of this because without Yahweh Shah, we have no sacrifice back. So, us getting redeemed, glorifies Yahweh Shah, which glorifies Yahweh because Yahweh been talking about it all these generations, man. It's coming to pass. <laughs> and it's his might, working powers, man. He's the creator. Go ahead. If the Heavenly Father be glorified in him, the Heavenly Father shall also glorify him in himself and shall straightway glorify him. God. Now I'm going to jump over to the next chapter, uh, John 14, and I'm going to start at 10. It says, Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. <laughs> it says, Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. God, Yahweh Shai is showing the might and power of the Most High. Same, same, hey, that's, that's the same thing that's happening, that trickling down to us, man. And what's going to happen once we get fully set up. Because yeah. right now we can see it. This is a mighty work for the apostles to be enduring this long. Because look, you'll go fucking crazy. 
knowing this than not having a spirit of Yahweh Shalom, you go fucking nuts, man. All right? Or you will fall, or you will uh, 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 fizzle out. That fire will fizzle out. Yeah. All right? And then seeing the certain miracles as far as we're teaching, how certain things things come up and then it break the all type yeah. of stuff, man. Yeah. All right? Yeah. For the work's sake. But soon y'all going to see because the things y'all shot there in the grave is going to be done in us. Look, you got to look that word up for glory, right? Okay. And then we're back. Well, let's, let's go ahead and get it out. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it out. Right. Um, the word glory, glorified glory, which is the same word in uh, John 13 and 31. It's the Greek word uh, doxazo, doxazo. And it says um, to praise, extol, magnify, celebrate, to honor, to do honor, to make glorious, you know, to make renowned, um, to honor, to glory, to magnify, you know. So now I'm going to go to the origin of the word, you know, which is uh, doxa, you know. It says uh, magnificence, excellence, preeminence, grace. You know, go down to the strongs definitions. Get straight to the point. The preeminence, man. So he said first, man. Yep. He's the king. Yahushua's the king. And then Yahweh was the king, and he passed the king kingship down to Yahushua, man. Yep. They got that same honor. And that same honor we got. He said, "Next to kings and priests, man. That's, that's the fuck. That's who we are. Because our father's the king." We just, and this is what happened. We, we dealing with the father's spirits, man. So he don't die. So he don't look like he dies and he passing on. You don't, it's not, you don't inherit like that, man. Kind of cruel. It's, it's, it's a living thing. Go ahead. Kind of. It's in our name, man. You know? Mm -hmm. He is prince of the power, man. Uh, as I stroll down to the Strong's definition, it says, um, Dignity, glory, honor, praise, worship. There you go, man. So Yahweh put that on your that on your house shot so he can so to be worshipped. Alright? And that's that's how it goes, man. Give it root five. Okay. Let's gonna end off on this one. But that's just the that's the order of things, man. The heathens of the nation are gonna worship before us. We're gonna worship before you have a shot. And it's gonna go and that's gonna he gonna worship to Yahweh. And all that worship that the heathens do what we doing, how shot doing, all of it is towards Yahweh anyway. It's based through a, it's an order of things, man. All that still is giving uh, showing the might and to Yahweh, still giving the glory to Yahweh. Because he's putting his glory in us. So it's still him that's getting uh, it's still him that's getting all the worship, really. Because we ain't doing nothing on our own. It's still Yahweh. He's still getting all the worship and honor and glory. And he's sharing it with. <laughs> What else, man? Okay. Let me start at the top, Baruch. Okay. This is Baruch 5 and 1. It says, Put off, O Jerusalem, the garment of thy mourning and affliction, and put on the comeliness of the glory that cometh from the Heavenly Father forever. Cast about thee a double garment of the righteousness which cometh from the Most High, and set a diadem on thy head of the glory of the everlasting. Look at all this glory being placed upon us. From the Most High, being placed above people, being placed so they can worship us, according to the definition. Go ahead. Okay. And which, which starting with Yahweh Shai, placed upon him so we can worship him. Okay. It says, For the Most High will show thy brightness unto every country under heaven. For thy name shall be called of the Most High forever. The peace of righteousness and the glory of the Heavenly Father's worship. The glory of the Heavenly Father's worship. So when we worship Yahweh Shai, that's worshiping Yahweh. When he just worship us, that's worshiping Yahweh Shai. We're just worshiping Yahweh. Which is glorifying Yahweh. The glory is the might and power that he's placing upon that he placed upon Yahweh Shai. That he's placing upon Yahweh Shai. Yeah. That, that being placed upon us is all still giving glory and worship to Yahweh. Because that's order, man. It all goes back to him. So with that, first and foremost, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, 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 Yahweh,
Praise, praise on the glory to Yahweh while Yahweh shot. That's right. How about that? Yahweh and Yahweh shot, man. Because we worship Yahweh. And Yahweh shot. Which worship Yahweh shot in turn is worship Yahweh even more. No. Because we, we have faith and belief in, 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 in the, the words that Yahweh gave leading up to Yahweh shot and then redeeming Yahweh shot first from the dead. No. All right. And double honors to the, to the elders, the elders, man. The apostles. All right? And citation to your brothers doing this thing sincerity and the truth and with charity. Shalom. 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 <laughs>